I'll, I had to make a part two because the size limit of the video was reached. So this is part two of the story time video. Um, yeah, that was just a bad time in my life. Um, but those people I did give a shout out to, I can't thank enough for being there for me, supporting me, loving me. My mother is another one. She will always be there for me. Um, that day was also bad because it was actually the first day I've ever seen my stepdad really, like, shed a tear when he saw me. Because they had me up at the local hospital for, God, almost seven hours. And when they finally got me transported down to Wyoming Valley, he had met me there because he was at work when it happened. And... When they finally let them back in the room after all my MRIs and CAT scans and everything, he did, he, he shed a couple of tears and that's what made me cry. I didn't cry the whole time. I felt no pain. That's a God honest truth. You can even ask anyone that knows me. Corey was there and I'll probably make a video with him in the future. I'll even ask him when he showed up to the hospital, I wasn't even crying. But, it was just a bad time. I still have nightmares about it every once in a while. I still have seizures about it. The seizure I had the night before the court, when he actually showed up, my mother said that I was in my room and I somehow called her on my cell phone. And said, you gotta hurry up and get down here. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's down here. He's coming to get me. He's coming to get me. You better hurry up before I plant him in the ground and shit like that. And she goes out to get my stepdad. And she's like, we gotta get downtown. We gotta get downtown. Travis is downtown. And he goes, well, when did he get downtown? He didn't sneak back past me. And then all of a sudden they hear, boom, 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 upstairs. And they get upstairs, and I was holding the wall like I was holding his neck and just beating the ever-living crap out of the wall. And she put herself in between me and the wall and pushed me off the wall. And for a good two hours, I was just not myself after that. That was probably the worst seizure I've ever had in my life. I was just out of it. I was so weak and lightheaded, dizzy. I was just out of it. I was in... I was in another dimension after that. But after that, my epilepsy actually got worse from it. My wrist is still messed up on the inside. Um, I still I don't have that many scars. It happened all on this side. I have that little scar right there from it. Nothing right here. This is all cut up. My ear was cut up. Somehow my earring got pu pulled through my ear. My brother and one of our old friends went down, went back down after it happened and found my earring laying on the ground. And it just not, it was not a good time. I was in double arm cast for six weeks. I ended up going back to school in double arm cast for two weeks and I got the one off. It was about this time that I went back to school because it was homecoming and I still went to a school dance with, in a pink arm cast. That tells you how devoted I am to going and going to school dances and shit. I was going in a full arm cast just to have fun because I'm a fucking party animal. But Again, big shout outs to Corey, Brian from Douchebag Incorporated, and all those other people I mentioned. Um, I can't thank you enough for being here. Um, if you go on my Facebook, my profile picture is a picture of me standing in front of the wall on the one, well, a couple of days after the one year anniversary, because I was down at Brian's on the one year anniversary of the wall, and. 
it's just amazing that I actually survived that. It was crazy, but I think this video has gone on long enough. I gotta head back home, upload both part, both of these parts, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow in some more cover songs and maybe some more different kind of videos. So until then, like. Comment, subscribe, leave some suggestions in the comments, and uh, see y'all later.